On Sunday, Las Vegas hit 120 degrees, shattering a long-standing all-time temperature record of 117. But this heat wave isn't just affecting southern Nevada. A dome of high pressure anchored over the region is pushing temperatures anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees above seasonable levels across the West, with more than 161 million Americans under heat alerts as of Tuesday, including those of us in the desert southwest. It is summertime. You are in the desert. So you do expect hot temperatures, but look at the all time record that happened on Sunday, right? That That's not a normality. To learn more about what's fueling these extreme temperatures, I spoke with Climate Central meteorologist Shell Winkley, who tells me there's more to the story. So what we know from pre-industrial times, we've added about 50% more carbon CO2 to the atmosphere, and we've added about 160% as much methane to the atmosphere. And those are greenhouse gases. So what they do is like a greenhouse. They trap in the heat that gets absorbed into the earth from the sun's rays. Carbon is a natural um, element of our atmosphere, but we're adding an exceptional amount that the Earth can't regulate. According to Winkley, it's possible to measure just how much these emissions impact daily temperatures. In a weather pattern with a big, intense high pressure like it is, it would have been hot because it's Las Vegas. But we know that the extreme temperatures and the record temperatures that are being felt have been made at least five times more likely due to human-induced climate change. Can you explain that figure a little bit more, the five times as likely? How do you know that? So what we do is we take 22 different climate models and we'll work it two ways. One, we'll run it with the historical greenhouse gas emissions 22 times over to get a frequency. And then we'll run it 22 times over without adding those carbon emissions. And what we can do is we can take a ratio against the 30-year average to understand how much of this is human caused and how much of this is just weather. If that sounds like a lot to process, you can actually explore the climate shift index online. You can select any date. So I'm going to go with July 7th when we saw that hot temperature record of 120 degrees here in Las Vegas. You can zoom on in to the map and really see the degree at which those temperatures were influenced by historic emissions. In the case of Las Vegas, that deep red color does indicate a level five. Same thing over here in Bakersfield, California. Now there's other areas of the map that show a gray color like over here towards Denver, Colorado, meaning those temperatures were twice as less likely to see the levels they are today compared to historic emissions. And it's really cool because this tool you can pretty much explore anywhere in the globe if you want to see how emissions have affected temperatures. What climate scientists are tracking is a shifting baseline towards a warmer world, and daily observations back that up. From cities like Las Vegas and Palm Springs breaking all-time records, to the much larger trends like ocean temperatures and Earth's surface also trending hotter. Yes, it is supposed to be hot in summertime, but this is exceptional heat driven by climate change, and that if this isn't the future that we want to continue, then we need to start curbing the pollution and figuring out ways to get back to a more suitable climate for us. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Geneva Zoltek.